You know what, Dave Pirro, we talk about it. He's the promoter. He is the proprietor. He is the owner of Great Lakes Championship Wrestling, but he is no slouch in the ring. He's and been in the, the ring man, many a time. And with a man such as King Kong Bundy, I decide the current Great Lakes Heavyweight Champion, I, I, I don't know. It looks, it looks like it's an even. Take it up to our ring announcer, Jeff Wynn. Colonel of Corruption and Major Mayhem really have this tag team wrestling thing down. They have been together for a number of years, and as we saw in Blizzard Brawl Night 1 and last year's Blizzard Brawl, they really are able to work together well as a team. And you know what? When we spoke earlier in the show about tag team chemistry, synergy, some of the greatest tag teams of all time, you got to throw the militia's name in there because these guys have owned Great Lakes Championship Wrestling tag and team division since the inception. And they still own the GLCW Tag Team Championship gold as they walk down to the ring, clearly not fan favorites. And their strategy in this match against two big men, King Kong Bundy, for instance, weighs just as much as the both of them combined. ton in the ring, literally, Damian Nelson. But one thing's for sure, we're going to have a ton of fun in this matchup. I was out on a date once. That's another story. The militia should not take lightly this team. I know that Dave Hero's been back in training, back in the ring trying to get back into ring shape, if you will, and King Kong Bundy hasn't missed a step in the years that he's been absent from the mainstream yeah. spotlight. You know what, King Bundy's been in shape all his life. Round. Oh, there's a sneak attack by the militia as we get this one underway. A sneak attack by the militia. You say that like it's a surprising thing, Mita. Oh, no, it's absolutely a... Believable. Big right hand by King Kong Bundy. Dave Hero being choked over on the second rope on the opposite side of the ring. Bundy comes in a close line. Almost takes Colonel Corruption over and up over a top rope. Major Mayhem being worked on by Dave Hero, who gives him a big elbow. Hero now in the corner. Big, big shoulder blocks. And a close line. Down goes Major Mayhem. Dave Hero looks like he hasn't been missed a beat in the ring. They say six years. And Dave Hero looks like he's been wrestling every week. Right. Oh, but gets choked. Choked down hard on that top rope by Major Mayhem. Major Mayhem calling the ref over again. Smart tag team action as Dave Hero now on the second rope gets taken down by Colonel Corruption, the illegal man in this contest. Referee still distracting. I'm sorry, Major Mayhem still distracting referee. Uh, Impartial Adam Marshall now coming back to the action here trying to go for a cover with a little bit of a claw hold there only getting a one count on Dave Hero Again three out of the four regular wrestlers able to uh, Able to get the action going Dave Hero the the wild card if you will in the match not not ring savvy Not a lot of technique a lot of power a lot of 
amount of brute force, if you will, from Dave Hero. Speaking of brute force, can... that's what the militia is using right now on Dave Hero in their corner as King Kong Bundy getting frustrated and coming in trying to break it up. Referee trying to maintain some order in this matchup, not doing a very good job of it so far as there's a choke now over in the corner by Colonel Corruption on Dave Hero. And Major Mayhem follows it up with a choke of his own. He's checking his molars. Look, he's checking his molars. You know, call it cheating, call it whatever you want, but this is good tag team wrestling. Tag team wrestling has an advantage to singles wrestling in that you've got your partner on the apron, and that is a person who can help you if you are able to distract the referee and the opponent enough to so make it happen. Let's talk about that. Dave Hero's got a partner on the other side of the ring. What has he been doing? Not isolating the militia over to their corner. Now boot to the midsection of Dave Hero by Major Mayhem as Colonel Corruption steps out of the ring, and finally this one's going to be one-on-one. -on -one. Hero falling down like a sack of potatoes. I don't know how much longer he's going to last in this match, honestly. A reverse choke hold by uh, Major Mayhem of the Southern Mississippi Militia. It's almost difficult to tell those two apart as they look did, extremely similar. Sure. Colonel Corruption, did, the bigger man of the two. Did Dave Hero get dental work again? Because he keeps showing it off to everybody in the ring. Every time he says, hey, look at my teeth. He's got his mouth stretched wide open. That is not on my information sheet here about uh, the competitors tonight. Dave Hero, not knowing where he is in that ring, he actually crawls back up to the corner of the militia and King Kong Bundy again getting frustrated coming into the ring to try to get the referee to pay his attentions to the militia which quite frankly will not happen as long as Bundy keeps hopping in the ring. Well again Bundy hopping in a ring as you just mentioned in this match is what you do in tag team wrestling. You're supposed to be out there to save your partner and it looks like Bundy's leaving Hero to dry. You know, we've only been a couple minutes into this match, Damian, but it looks like Hero is out on his feet, and it looks like Hero may not be long for this match at all. And if he keeps it up with the militia, he may not be long for this world. Very valid statement, Meathead. It's been, as they said, as our ring announcer said, about six years since Dave Hero's been in competitive action in a wrestling matchup. We have yet to see King Kong Bundy as the legal man oh, in wait, this contest. Wait, wait. As Dave Hero's fighting back. Trying to get over to his counter, trying to get over to his partner, King Kong Bundy, and the militia being very smart, and Major Mayhem being very smart, and keeping him neutral over towards their corner, knowing he can't make the tag. Smart tag team wrestling, and tag team wrestling, you know, we talk again in the 80s, in the 90s, with all the tag teams, the Bulldogs, the Hart Foundation. Again, why militia isn't mentioned in the names of, you know, in the annals of history. Wait, Wait. Hero Ducks, the double clothesline. Look out, a double clothesline of his own. He's over in his corner, not quite able to make the tag to Bundy. Wait, he's close. He realizes where, where he is. is. King Kong Bundy. Hero laying on the mat, but Bundy, a house of fire right now, taking on both members of the militia. Big shot by Bundy. Major may have thrown the other side. Bundy splash! Oh. Bundy splash! Into the corner and down goes Mayhem. Wait a minute, look out from the other side. Colonel Corruption pulling from outside the ring. That would have been in right there, Damian. Bundy splash, five count that. Hey, wait, 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 wait. Bundy working on Corruption outside Damian, the ring. Wait a minute, Damian. Hero. Wait, wait, wait. What's Doink? Doink the clown is out here. What is Doink doing out here? Doink's got the belt. Doink's got the tag team oh. championship belt. He just nailed Dave Hero across the back. Referee didn't see a thing. Wait, two. No, oh, come on. What the heck was that? Damien, your winner's in what is champion Doink the have, What business does Doink have in this matchup? Doink is set up to be in our main event later on. No business coming out here and causing a win for the champions and a loss for Bundy and Hero. Hero was all, all very close to getting the pin on the militia, but it didn't happen due to the outside interference of Doink the Clown. Technically, Damien, isn't that inside interference if he got in the ring and did it? Don't play semantics with me. I'm sorry, who? With the what? I'm disgusted at the outcome of that matchup, and I don't understand what Doink's beef is 
with Dave Hero and or King Kong Bundy. Bundy now telling Hero what happened, who quite frankly doesn't know. And uh, Hero back and King Kong Bundy in the ring here. I really thought for a few minutes there, me Ed, we were going to see new tag team champions of the world. And you know what? When Bundy goes off the rope, when Bundy gets the Bundy splash, the five count, we could have had Bundy, a two title holding wrestler. I've got my words all crossed up now. Bundy would have been a heavyweight champion and he would have been a tag team champion. He would have held all the belts.